So I've got a little secret for you and I'm gonna let you in on it right now. Okay, my little secret is that I save money every month doing these two things. The first and probably most important thing that I use in my reselling business to save money is by ordering free supplies on the USPS store online. I order all of the priority shipping boxes on there and I order poly mailers and then the um, envelopes for the labels to stick on the box. Uh, that is something that has helped to save me so much money in my business and I highly recommend that if you sell on Poshmark that you do the same thing because it's free and they will ship it to you for free so you're not spending a dime on those. The next thing I do to save money for my business is by ordering in bulk. So for the supplies that I can't order off of USPS, I will order on Amazon. So my uh, Ziploc bags that I put my uh, items into that I ship out and uh, the thank you stickers, uh, packing paper, um, and just those kinds of things I order on Amazon in bulk. I will show you which items I order so that way if you wanted to go in and check it out and see if that is something you would like to order, you will know what to look for. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a quick tutorial on the USPS uh, store website online, show you how to order uh, and what I order. And then I will also show you uh, the supplies that I order off of Amazon in case you wanted to order those as well or similar ones. Okay, so you go to the store.usps.com and then you'll see the supplies. I order the poly mailers, and you can order up to so many. I usually order up to 20. Add to cart, and then keep shopping. And then I order these boxes. They're, um, they have a, a sealer on them, so you don't have to use any tape. And I always order the 25 pack. This is taking a while. Slow, of course. All right, finally worked. Going back. And next. I order these lovely shoe boxes and then I order the, I think it's a 25 pack and I try to order at least two of them. And then looking for the uh, envelopes for the labels. And I don't think they're, I think they're on the fourth page. But as you can see, there's a lot of supplies here that are free that you can order, whatever you prefer. It took me just some time to figure out which ones that I preferred using. Um, I just so showed you a few of the ones that I use, but here is that, um, it's a customs form envelope, but you can use them for your labels. And I order as many as possible. And it's being slow again, but here we go. Finally working. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Once you're done with the supplies that you want to order, you'll go to your shopping cart, look it over, and then check out. And it'll ask you to sign into your account or continue as a guest. And I always just do the guest check out and then obviously you'll put in your info here and then basically complete your order and you're all set now for the bulk shipping supplies that i order off of amazon here you can see i order bulk packing paper by brico goods it's got 480 sheets of newsprint paper and this is what i use to pack in my boxes 
This cost me $29.99 and it does last me a good while. The next is this box of 36 rolls of shipping tape. I ordered this back in December and it is still lasting me till this long. I do have a few rolls left, so I am getting close to running out. So I will have to order some soon, but it has been totally helpful. I haven't had to go buy tape from the store and it's cheaper to buy this in bulk. The only problem with this is this tape is kind of cheap as in it's thinner so it tears easy and I do have to use a little bit more when I'm packaging up my boxes. This box did cost $49.99. Next, I like to order these cute thank you stickers that I put on all of my packages. This roll cost me about $8.99 and it does last a long time. Next are these Spartan plastic poly bags with a resealable zipper. These are the 10 by 13 and they come in a 500 count. And I use these to put all of my clothing in and even shoes when I am packaging up my packages. They also have different sizes, which I do order the different sizes. I order a size up from this, a 13 by 18 for larger items, and they do have smaller bags as well if you are looking for something a bit smaller. The 500 count of the 10 by 13 cost me around $45 and they last a long time as well. So for me, I feel like paying that price for these lasts a long time. So it's worth it to me in the long run. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see future content like this. I also will have a thread up shoe unboxing that will be coming up in the next few days or so when I do get that box in. So I'm very excited to unbox that with you guys. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you next time. Bye.